Hello, welcome back to my channel and today we are going through this problem here which is finding the blue area of this inscribed kite shape. All right, um, and so we're an arrowhead and it's inscribed obviously of a circle and the circle has got a diameter of 10. Okay, we've also got the fact that these two line segments are the same length. Okay, so that's going to split those two up from well, a radius that would have been 5 up into 2.5, each of those lengths, okay? Now, if you want to have a go at this for yourself, pause the video now and have a go. Uh, and if you want to see how I do it, then keep watching. So, what I would want to do with this, and I think it will make it easier, is to put uh, an axis on this, all right? An X and a Y axis. Um, the reason why that's going to be useful, you'll see shortly, it just seems to make it a little bit more easier and it lends itself to this problem, but this is a method that you can apply to a range of different problems. Now, once I've got my axes on there, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure I label on the key points. So my circle has a radius of 5 because the diameter is 10. So I want to put on here all my 5s and minus 5s. And then I also want to put on, which I spoke about earlier, well, this, uh, this uh, value here must be 2.5 or 5 over 2. I'm going to call it 2.5 for now. Um, and that's where this line, the top side of that kite, goes through the y-axis. Now, once I've got my axes on there, what I want to think about next is actually how could I, um, or what are the equations for these lines? So for a circle, I know that it's x squared plus y squared equals r squared, when the center of the circle is the origin, which in this case we've got because we set it up that way. So we've got x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, where r is the radius, which is 5, so that's going to be equal to 25. Um, and then what we've got to do is we've got to work out, and we can do this because we've got two points, the uh, equation of the top side of this kite here. Because if we can get that, then we can find out the intersection points with the circle. Now we know one already is at minus five, zero. But we can find out this other one, which is, if we're using the left-hand side of that triangle as the base, this would then be um, the apex of that triangle, which would give us the perpendicular height. So, to get the equation of this line, we need to do the gradient first of all. So the gradient is the change in y over the change in x. And we've got um, 0 and 2.5 here. So I'll use 2.5 on the top as my y. Take away my other value of y for this bottom leftmost point, and that is 0, divided by... Now, you've got to take them away in the same order. So the x value for this... Uh, first coordinate that I used was 0, subtract, and then minus 5. Now that's going to give me 2.5 over 5, which is equivalent to 1 half. And so that's my gradient. Now my y-intercept's easy, that's 2.5. So the equation of that line is going to be y is equal to 1 half x, and then plus 2.5, I'm going to leave it as 5 over 2 for the minute. The reason I'm doing that is because, well you'll see in a second, I'm going to have to square all of this and so it's a lot easier to do um, mentally if it's as, as a fraction. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my equation of my line and I've got my equation of my circle but I'm going to substitute one into the other so that I can solve for um, where they intersect. So that's going to give me x squared plus a half x plus 5 over 2 squared, because that was my y, is equal to 25. Right, now if I expand this, I'm going to get x squared, and then I've got half x times a half x, which is 1 quarter x squared. 5 over 2 times by a half will give me 5 over 4, and I've got two of them, so that's going to give me 10 over 4 x. And then 5 over 2 times 5 over 2, which is going to give me 25 over 4, is equal to 25. Right, I'm going to collect my like terms now, and really it's only these first two that I need to collect, so that's going to give me 5 over 4 x squared plus 10 over 4 x plus 25 over 4. Now I could take away my 25 here, but actually what's going to be easier is multiplying everything by 4 and then dividing by 5. So if I times everything by 4, 
I get 5x squared, scroll this down, 5x squared plus 10x plus 25 is equal to 100. Divide everything by 5 now, x squared plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 20. Take away my 20 from both sides, I'm going to get x squared plus 2x minus 15 is equal to 0. Now if I factorise that I can use 5 and minus 3, so I get x plus 5, x minus 3 is equal to zero. Now I should have presumed actually that that was going to be, well it had to be x plus five because I know one of my roots is minus five and so I get my two roots as x is equal to minus five or x is equal to three. The minus five one was already on the diagram but that tells me that this here, the apex if we're using the left hand side as the base, um, that's going to be an x coordinate of three we don't need to work out the y coordinate for this bit actually. We could do quite easily using the equation for the line or the equation for the circle, but we don't need to because now what I've got is the base of the triangle, that left hand uh, side of that triangle, which is 7.5. And I've got the height of that triangle, which is 3, so times by 3 and then divide that by 2. So 7.5 times 3 is going to give me 22.5 and divide that by 2, we get 11.5. 25 centimetres squared. Don't get the units because remember we are working in centimetres. Okay, I hope uh, you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to like the video. That tells me that, you know, you enjoy the videos and that's keep doing them. You know, uh, these problem solving based ones. Uh, yeah, I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. I really appreciate it and I really appreciate all the likes and everybody that subscribes to the channel. If you like this video, then there should be plenty more videos just up here. Uh, hopefully it's, it's here. That's where it should be, the one that you want to watch next. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.